More trouble for the embattled Denver Sheriff's Department. We first told you last night about three deputies fired for excessive force. And now Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski has found it's likely those same deputies could get their jobs back. Jen, it could also cost taxpayers. Molly, if these deputies are reinstated, taxpayers could be on the hook for thousands of dollars in back pay. And it wouldn't be the first time. I spoke with a civil rights attorney who says that's the root of the problem. There is no point in firing these officers. The narratives and videos are all too similar, with matching discipline letters citing the same reason for termination, inappropriate force. These three Denver deputies are just the latest to lose their jobs for going too far. One deputy slammed an inmate into a metal table. Another smashed an inmate's finger, while the other punched an inmate in the face. It seemed like very high levels of inappropriate force. Civil rights attorney Kusair Mohammed Bai says while it appears these deputies should be fired. It is highly unlikely that the termination of these three deputies will in fact stick. There is countless cases, including the case of Deputy Ford. Mohammed Bai is talking about this case, captured on jailhouse surveillance video, where you can see Deputy Thomas Ford punch inmate Kyle Askins, knocking him to the ground. Deputy Ford cold cocked Kyle Askin. Uh, without any reason whatsoever. Deputy Ford lost his job over that punch, but 14 months later, the Career Service Board, which oversees discipline for the department, overturned his firing. He was also owed an entire year in back pay and benefits. The message to deputies is that even if you engage in the most egregious forms of excessive force, you will be fine. Your jobs will be safe. Muhammad Bai says any real change starts with the Career Service Board. The Career Service rules look to comparative discipline and Denver has a long history of not disciplining and terminating its officers. Basically what that means is the board won't allow a deputy to be fired because another deputy wasn't fired for doing something similar in the past. Now Denver Sheriff Patrick Furman told us in a statement the department quote does not tolerate the use of excessive force by deputies. Live in the newsroom, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.